Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So it's been a while, I haven't uploaded in like four days and I've got a lot done. Yeah, I've been productive. I put up a clock uh, with my mum, that was fun. I redecorated the gym with paint and uh, stuff. I played with my dog through some bones and that. I grilled some straight ass meat, some straight meat. I also learned how to box. Yeah? Get off me! So that was, yeah, so that was cool. So yeah, I've been, my schedule's been chock-a-block. Wait, you mean to tell me that button down there still says subscribe? Well, you know what you need to do, buddy. You know what you need to do, buddy. Buddy. If I look in discomfort at all, it's because I've got an ice pack on my back because I think I've slipped a disc. Basically, before I hit play, this girl's like surrounded by these guys, um, but they're just texting and she's basically dating 20 dudes, texting them. And yeah, that's what we're watching. Are you hoping to find a match today? Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping. Okay, basketball kid. Yeah! Yeah! Not to continue this pattern of very, very bad men. <laughs> What's going on here? She sends a message, all these people reply <laughs> instantly. Lyndon, I've never seen someone do a smiley face backwards before. That's not the right way to do it, mate. Matt, Matt's doing it the right way. Lyndon, you done fucked up, mate. <laughs> it's that bit right there where you see that they're texting, you zoom out, you see they're sat around her like she's some sort of queen. I just thought that was funny. Maybe it's not funny. I thought it was funny. You can actually see a guy in the background getting in the photo. Um, she sent a picture of her face saying, would you guys date this? Would you guys hit this? Who says that? <laughs> someone said more than once, someone said more than twice. Would you date this? <laughs> yeah, I'd date you, then I'd break your heart, then I'd date you again. Oh, you do that? Well, I'd date her, then I'd break her heart, then I'd date her, then I'd break her heart, then I'd date her again. I love to dance, so I don't like it when I'm with somebody who's a total Debbie Downer or boring and just kind of stands there and doesn't want to dance. <gasps> I like to party. Got me weak. Mm. Oh, fuck, she likes to party. I'm so weak for that. I would definitely want someone open-minded, but not a freak. So you shouldn't be into feet, but you know, a little choking is a little fun. Well, you know. <laughs> is anyone else grossed out by feet? I personally don't know anyone with a foot fetish, but if I did, I'd probably say firmly, you idiot. They'd probably start crying. I do like them tall because I'm pretty tall for an Asian girl. And when I put on my heels, I would like to still be shorter than Mama Ann. So they need to be, I think, at least 5'11", but I prefer like six feet tall. Fun fact, I'm actually four foot three. I'll just stand, just stand up now. So I can't even see above the camera which sucks, but. <laughs> I 
They're all freaking out. I feel bad. Unlucky guys. Most of them were 5'8. But there's sad music as well. They built a bond in the chat. I love you boys. Bromance. <laughs> if you're trying to get a girl out of 20 guys, maybe don't write in the chat, Thanos has strucken. <laughs> I um, would not want to be with somebody who wants kids within seven years. I love kids. I've been an aunt since I was 10, so I'm like a natural around babies and kids. But I want to really just share a love with somebody that's so great and it's all about loving each other before we can you know, bring somebody else in the world. I think you should be mentally stable as well, financially stable, because you're going to be responsible for shaping their future. It's kind of a big pressure, because you could really fuck somebody up in the head if you're not there. And I take that really seriously. What was that? See you later. I'm going to just groove on out of here. You know what, I have a younger brother and anybody younger than me, I just automatically think of my brother, so. Like they could be the hottest person in the room and if they tell me they're even a month younger than me, I'm just like, oh, I just see my brother and it's like, oh, would not date my brother. I'm glad you cleared that up. Would not date my brother. He's hot, but we're just not compatible. Come on, there, there's a couple, well, one was 24, almost 25. One guy was 25. A year's not that bad, is it? I think a year is acceptable. <laughs> You're gonna be single for a while. <laughs> He's got a point. She was very fussy. <laughs> You're gonna be single for a while. Fuck you, Thanos. <clears throat> Rude. How many guys did you think would be left? I thought there would be maybe four guys left, <laughs> but there were none. So today I learned that uh, my criteria is <laughs> not, I guess, easy as I thought it was, but I'm okay with that because I don't like these are values and things that I don't want to bend and change right now. So. I used to really beat myself up in my past relationships after they ended because I felt like I wasn't good enough. <laughs> but um, I think I'm at a place in my life right now where I know what I want and there's nothing wrong with having these standards. You shouldn't have to bend your values and what you want to please somebody else. I thought she was a little bit fussy. Maybe she isn't a bit fussy, maybe that's just her. I suppose everyone's entitled to their own uh, preferences and what they're looking for. At 26, you wanna find someone that maybe you wanna marry, so maybe you will be a little fussier. So, fair enough. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.